I'm Jorge Tamames, I'm the Global Managing Editor at VPR, and I just wrote an article on Mali for our third issue. Well, I basically it was a pun on the fact that this looks, uh, the intervention in Mali looks like a sort of easy to brand as a sort of good humanitarian intervention that serves good purposes. Uh, the insurgency in Mali was, uh, you know, had a terrible track record in terms of human rights abuses and so on. But there's this entire backdrop of neo-colonial relationship between France and its former African colonies that often has a very paternalistic um, approach to it. So that, I was just playing with those two words. Well, the stated rationale is very appealing. They basically want to protect um, the country from an Islamic insurgency that had accumulated uh, a lot of human rights abuses and so on during the past year. And so the intervention is easy to sell that way. Behind that, there's a backdrop that France has always had this sort of neo-colonial relationship with the region and has um, a lot of, uh, basically depends on neighbor Niger for most of its uranium supplies. These, the, the uranium fuels um, most of France's nuclear power. And so the idea that an uprising in Mali could spread to Niger is, I think, concerning to, to the French. So I think by intervening, they want to forestall that threat. Well, I think, uh, of course, in terms of goals, it's, uh, it's much smaller in terms of the means that are employed. It's a much smaller intervention. It's 4,000 French troops. And there seems to be a better exit strategy than there was in Iraq. Having said that, there are a few things in common. I think um, that while the political situation in Mali is not solved and the Tuareg are not granted some degree of autonomy, um, there will not be a long-term solution for the problems in Mali. Uh, and I think in that regard, uh, it might be the situation might be slightly similar to that of the Kurds in Iraq, where uh, a minority spread throughout several countries and granting them autonomy is dangerous. Uh, none of these countries want to do this. They all have Tuareg minorities. And so dealing with this political problem is, is very hard. And, Unless Mali does so, it will be unlikely that there's a long-term solution.